In this short video we will look at how you can search for those materials that are available online and which you can access off campus. To search for online materials you need to be on our library web pages. For this example I'm going to look for material on academic study skills. So I just enter my keywords into the search box and click onto the option for search. Here we have our results for the search for academic study skills. Uh, library search has gone away and tried to match my keywords. And as you can see, it's found a huge number of results. From here, I can use the filters on my left hand side to narrow that search down. So if I scroll down slightly, on the left hand side, I have got various filters or, or options to limit availability, content type, and if I come down further, I've got publication date. My first filter will be using the publication date. And I'm going to change this start date from 1800 to, uh, let's say, 2017, just to get the last few years worth of material, and then click on to refine. You can see that that's brought my results down quite significantly, but there are still too many for me to go through. So again, using the filters on the left hand side, I've got my options under content type to choose the content type that I'm interested in. And for this example, I'm going to choose the books because I know that I just want to have a book. So now we've come down and we've got nearly 700 books on academic study skills. Crucially, I want to have online material so that I can access the, the um, readings anywhere um, on or off campus. And so under availability, I've got my option for online. So this has taken the, my results down a little bit more. I've got 656 items, but I know that all of these items are available online so I can access them off campus wherever I happen to be studying. If I wanted to save those filters so that the next time I search they will automatically be added to my search, I can use the option on the left hand side here to remember all filters. That will uh, save the filters so that next time I go in and search they will automatically be applied. However, you do need to remember to take them off again or to reset the filters when you've finished. So now I've got my titles that I'm interested in. I can have a look to see where they are. So if I click onto this study skills handbook, it takes me through to the full record where I've got the title and the author details. I know that it's online because it's giving me this available online option. And then under the find online full text availability, I've got my link to the full text of the book. So I can just click on to that uh, link. It may ask you to log in, in which case it's just your usual login name and password and log in. And here we have the full text of the book. And if I scroll down slightly, I've got my option to read online. And here we have the full text of the book. So now you know how you can use the filters on library search to narrow your results to just those materials that are available to you online. If you need any more help, please do contact us. Thank you for listening.